I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. By nature, I'm curious. Science is serious. I wanna learn and study. Cause life is too mysterious. First step, state of the art. Reading, searching, summarizing strictness. Rigor and precision. I can afford to make a mistake. I develop a strong methodology. Hey everyone, welcome to my video log. I'm Jason. Um, I'm a product designer and artist who is originally from a small town called Farncombe, just south of London. For the past two years I've been working at Fab Lab Rook. Um, it's a Fab Lab in Roskilde, just outside of Copenhagen, run by some very close friends of mine. Um, this project wouldn't be possible without them, so I am incredibly grateful for this experience. I'm yet to depart on my journey, so this episode I'm just going to speak to you about what is a fab lab. Um, I'm just going to speak to you about what, uh, what is special about Bhutan and what makes Bhutan an area of interest to me. Fabrication Laboratory are a network of publicly accessible workshops where anybody can walk in and get free access to tools and machinery such as rapid prototyping equipment including 3D printers, CNC machines and laser cutters. They can also get access to a range of manual tools such as woodwork, metalwork and electronics equipment. Fab Labs also offer free tuition such as how to use software, how to operate the machinery, use tools, or general advice at any stage of the design process. Users of the lab are strongly encouraged to document the work they do and share it via the internet. Ideally, a tutorial could be written on how to reproduce the project and uploaded with all accompanying files, which of course should remain open source. As each lab in the network shares the same core set of machinery, it means that somebody on one side of the world could make a discovery as part of their research. Then, on the other side of the world, somebody else is able to integrate the same discovery into their own project, and vice versa, creating a knowledge sharing community. Fab Labs provide a platform for startups, entrepreneurs and making enthusiasts to be able to build practically anything they want, regardless of their financial background or previous skill level. One of the main objective of Fab Labs is to democratise manufacturing equipment and the knowledge that surrounds it. The Fab Lab network recognises that anybody could have a potentially revolutionary idea, but not everybody has the resources to make their idea a reality. Fab Labs provide incubation for projects which otherwise might never gain enough momentum to become self-sustaining. Fab Lab is a non-profit organisation whose revenue, so to speak, is publicly available knowledge. makes the Fab Lab network so relevant to Bhutan? Bhutan is the only country in the world that measures its development on GNH, gross national happiness, as opposed to GDP, gross domestic profit. In recent years, the nation has gradually begun to expose itself to external cultures in an attempt to modernise in a sustainable way. Accompanying this modernisation is an abundance of technological advancements such as the introduction of TV and the internet which only arrived in 1999. The reception of technology has been met with mixed opinions. The most notable concerns are that technology would erode Bhutanese culture resulting in spiritual depravity. Fab Labs demonstrate how technology can be a benefit to the community in a typically unexpected way. 
In a country which, technologically speaking, is still finding its feet, education is incredibly important. Fab Labs provide a new way where people can be the master of their own journey. Driven by their own initiative and curiosity and applying Fab Lab techniques in a truly unique context. and currently we are working on this uh, Palestine crossing line and this project was suggested by Mayor of the City. My name is Anil Rai and I'm working uh, working on the peace swimming machine. Hello, <coughs> my name is Sunam Tekar, I'm from the town. Yeah, it's me Jimmy and currently we're doing uh, a project on 3D printer. We're actually going to print a 3D printer. We're actually going to make our 3D printer in our fab lab. Uh, my name is Shilton. I'm from Fab Lab Town, as you can see. So right now we are working on a Fab 2.0 machine building machine project. My name is Tanj Doji. Yeah, I'm doing the project on laser cutter. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Nanda Kumar Guru. And right now I'm doing project on uh, CNC support machines. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Ugin. User at the lab, and I'm working on a telescope, uh, a robot, and a few other interesting projects. Hi, my, hi, my name is Vitan, and currently I'm doing the greenhouse project. So today is a national holiday known as Descending Day where the people of Bhutan celebrate the descendants of Lord Buddha. The Fab Lab team have kindly offered to take me around and include me in their celebration and show me some historical sites. to say on camera? What? You have anything to say on camera? Um, yeah, I just, I've, I've, I'm really happy that I've met everyone at the lab because uh, you guys have made me feel so welcome. And, you know, I, I feel so welcome. I feel like one of the team already and I've been here for like three days. <laughs>